Episode 2, Starved for Help. It is indeed loading. Previously on The Walking Dead. I know who you are. Oh, I Watch got another out. good one for you. <laughs> <laughs> I got another good one for you. <laughs> Instantly. Watch out. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my Brody, parents wake the fuck up, stupid ass bitch. You, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. Carly the baddie. You feel me? Damn, head gone. One of them is bitten. We reason oh, with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Oh, poor Doug. Poor Doug. He was probably the slowest God. one out of everybody, though. I ain't gonna lie. Shit about what happens to you. He would have ate all the fucking. happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. You don't want to know it's crazy? Lee is like 6'3, 6'4, right? So that is making that old white motherfucker, Larry, like. I'm gonna say six six, six seven, right? Cause he's just towers over Lee. Yes. And Lee towers over Kenny. The game series adapts to the choices you make. The t the story is tailored to how you play. I read that fucking last episode. God damn it! I'm gonna just keep reading it. Well, welcome back everybody to The Walking Dead. My name is Prophet. First episode, you saw the previously on The Walking Dead. It's actually fucking an amazing game series. We're doing every single one. This one to the final season. You know how it is. Uh, hey, better, better, hey, better, better, hey, better, better. Swing and a miss. So oh, damn. And the axe head flew off and hit a young lady from Shawinigan. Who the damn. fuck are you? What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. Damn it. Well, that's another meal lost. It is what it is. I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Well, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No you need like six rabbits for it to be a meal, like a big ass stew. When like I six rabbits. For Carly's rations right? the other night, I thought she was gonna That's take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Right, leave Shadi alone. I ain't gonna yeah, lie. You're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Not enough. Not enough. According to Lily, we've just about hit the last of our food reserves. Some people might have to go without tonight. You mean Lily's lottery again? Kenny's gonna be pissed. She thinks everyone should have an equal chance of missing a meal. You think Kenny's ha Communism! Having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. I don't know why I paused it. Yeah, I just wanted to say communism, because that's what Kenny it sounds really like. Fighting all the time. Things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Can he want to abandon us? He's got a family to look out for. He want to abandon us. He's a good man. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. It's because Lee is black. He's racist. He's an old he's racist just asshole. just an old racist asshole. That's his deal. Well, he needs to get over that and start finding a way to pull his weight. Hard problems are not. We should all be out here trying to find food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Yeah, I was there. I watched it. I was like, police! Police brutality. No, I'm playing. Hit your shot, homie. 
It's a long shot. I'd hate to waste the bullets. Trust me. If I don't think I can hit it, I won't shoot. You fucking sh shit! Was that Kenny? Bitch. I don't know. Come on. There's no way the bullet drop is that bad that it hit Kenny. Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? We're not gonna it's hurt okay, you. we're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Lee, this is fucked up. We've gotta help you. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave My us alone. My dad was whatever. special forces. I know Please. what I'm doing. Yeah, special forces. <laughs> we gotta get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please, hurry. Lee, this trap has been altered. There's no release latch. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. There's um, gotta be something we can do. Lee, do something. No way out of this. Please. This can't be. Oh, no, no, no. Get the chain. Is he? Fuck. Is he gonna make it? Please, we can't just leave him like this. Let's Hurry. go. Let's go. Uh, Come on, do something. Uh, Why would somebody do this? Forget it. I'm doing one like more. Here, oh, to lift You're not cutting through. Them. Bro, hit your fucking we shots, man. Please hurt. Fuck it. Your leg, homie. Oh, Sorry about it. Gonna have to cut you out. No, no, Damn no! He just cut off Try the trap leg. Leg. Anything, you'll have time for that. I'm sorry, but we have to go. I'm now. sorry, broski. <laughs> I'm sorry, broski. <laughs> can't keep him back forever. Fuck, I'm just wasting ammo now. We gotta go. I'm cutting the shit. <laughs> one more, one more, one more, one more. Hey, breathe. <sighs> Breathe, motherfucker, breathe! Uh, oh God. Shit, is he? He passed out. All right, damn, that looks like we cut it way higher than we did. He's alive, grab him and let's go. We need to wrap the wound. I wish Sirius was here. Hold up, let me text Sirius. I'm gonna text Sirius real quick. All right. What to do after leg is cut off? Question mark. Hopefully she tells me. Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! Ah! Travis, you dumb fuck. Bro. Travis, you fucking dingleberry, bro. Like, holy shit, you don't know how to do anything, bro. No survival skills in your arsenal, man. You're just a fucking nutcase. You were, you know what? Natural selection. Darwin said it best. Going hungry. Dealt with a stranger caught in a bear trap. Yeah, I cut his fucking legs off.
Leg goes crazy. Look at that soccer ball compared to fucking Clementine. Jesus Christ, she's tiny. Lily up there. Bang. What a touch. What a pass. What a play by the young Clementine. He scored the goal against Manchester United. <laughs> Comment down below your favorite soccer team. You got the iron sights on that? Hell yeah. There we go. I did it. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh my on! God. What happened? Okay, good, 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 good. As far as I can see, I'm not a medical professional. That's why I need serious. But they have put something to restrict blood flow from exiting the wound. AI, a tourniquet made from a belt. Who is that? I don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every Larry, struggling bro, survivor shut the fuck we come up. across. We have to focus on our group right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine. You guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You, know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. You've got nothing to say about that, Lee? You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I just felt like it was better to say nothing. I don't see up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? I don't see you doing shit either. Evil Knievel having head ass bitch. Think this is easy for me. Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food, but nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Clementine's getting fed immediately. You have four food items for ten hungry people. God damn. Alright. Let's not make enemies here. Let's not make enemies. You already know we're giving Clementine some. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose her? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. 
Okay, so here here's the thing, right? I ain't gonna lie. Kids need to eat. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. We're gonna give you half an apple. I love apples. Thank you. Are there more? No, honey. That was the last one. Oh, um... Enjoy it. You deserve it. You have three pieces of food left. Okay. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Look, I'm a you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. Who the fuck do I feed? Okay, I gave Clementine some food. Clementine's always gonna get food. She ain't leaving. Alright. Here's the deal, right? I'm gonna be nice to this motherfucker. One time. Can you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. I hate this motherfucker with my gut. No, I'm not going to give him none. Fuck. Okay, here's the deal. We're going to give Lily some. Lily. Here. I don't want anything from you. Fine, don't eat. Fine. Carly. Want something to eat? Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. I want you to yeah, have this, okay? Don't care. In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. Hey, Doc. How about a little food? Here. Yeah! Oh, man, I'm so hungry! Alright, I have two more things. Okay. So we're gonna go over here. And I'm gonna say fuck it. Here, eat something. Sorry. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Ah, so many decisions. So many decisions. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Well, I thought. Come on, Larry, give it a rest, man. Things are different. Being a racist is outdated. Oh, and that's what you think this is? Is that what you told him? Yeah, that's yeah, right. That's right. And what are you gonna do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work.
Here, Larry. Lily would want you to keep your strength up. I should shove this up your ass, but I'm too hungry. Oh, man. Just seeing the food is driving me crazy. Sorry, broski. There's one piece of food left. Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. She looks well fed. Carly said no. Old girl up top said no. Clementine got food. Doug got food. Fuck it. Here you go, Mark. Here. Eat something. Thanks, Lee. They're working on the wall, so they might as well eat. Not such an easy job, is it? Never said it was. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice. But you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. Why are you angry now, bruh? Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least yeah, that's, a, that's a sad thing, bro. Not nah, you can't save other... everyone. Now nah, fuck that. Fuck that, Ovi. Fuck out of here, stupid. Move, move. Shit, it's stuck. Okay? Yeah. Thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know. I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym, and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning, and... God. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we, we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Carly. You're outnumbered here. Just turn around and go back. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but but you'd really be helping out a fellow survivor if, if you could part with some extra gas before we leave. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. 
Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. That's Lee, the place. Why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm yep, going with I got you. you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So got you, uh, Carla. what do y'all think? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice Why to get away from that hotel this? for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. <laughs> me as a leader? You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? <laughs> Barry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? You know what happened. I only know what the press was told. I don't know your story. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Thanks. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? Lily. She runs a pretty tight ship. Her and her dad are ex-military. Yeah, she knows her shit, but she needs to know when to back off sometimes. How many people you got over there anyway? Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys. Yeah, I ain't trying to give them too well, much info. We'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for. Well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry. And are. you guys were keeping it there's all There's only two of them. Oh, no. There's yeah, a you know what? More we ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. Let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! <gasps> Fuck you! Fuck you! Jesus! Asshole. The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Damn. Who just got fucking blasted? Here it is. St. John Family Dairy. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. This is a really brilliant setup. Suits us just fine. This place looks untouched. 
Mm. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and Wake welcome the to up. the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at... The fuck she mean by that? The old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Lily. He's tough as nails and keeps us focused on what it takes to survive. Lily was in the military, like me. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and cool. Brody, you finna wake up? Guess not. Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she... And we're back. I was hoping that I didn't lose anything. Souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? You might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, I have you. fickle Why trust don't you take a look people? around. Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. <sighs> this place is incredible. It's got food. Yeah, sure. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right. I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. there, Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. Yeah, sure. I see. I don't trust that. When will dinner be ready? It'll be a while still, but it'd be worth it. Trust me. Hmm. Your family's done an amazing job of keeping this place up. Well, now aren't you sweet? Thank you, Lee. The boys and I have tried to adapt as best we can, but we still keep some of our old routines to help remind us of better times. <sighs> what happened to the rest of your staff? Oh, we've had our share of tragedy here. Just like everyone else, I'm sure. Some I don't of trust that. took off to find their family as soon as they heard the news. The few that stuck around, well, we lost most of them the first night those things showed up here. It was a tough night. How many rooms does this house have? Rooms? Why do you ask? It looks custom built. Nice of you to notice. 
My husband put a lot of work into this old house. Well, he did a mm. fantastic job. I believe in making a house a home. How's your family been holding up since, uh, you know? All my boys have been my saving grace. They both left their jobs and came home to help out after the attack started happening. I think it was hardest on Andy. Dan was always more of a mama's boy. Don't tell him I said that. <laughs> well, if anything comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. I don't trust that shit. I don't trust that lady for for real. Like, on oh, God. Lady seems fucked up in the head. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? What kind of weapons do it's you have? A good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we really only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on. Looking for the people they lost contact with. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. Why the hell did you have to tell him I thought he was a racist? As if tensions weren't high enough. Sorry, man. It just... it popped out. I mean, you did admit it right to his face. I try to be civil at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Looks like he's stuck. Looks like he's stuck. Disgusting. There we go. That was the arrow. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? It's dangerous. It's dangerous. True, but it's also dangerous to the walkers. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. Hmm. <sighs> These folks are just delaying the inevitable. This place is gonna fall apart, just like everywhere else. <sighs> Maybe you're right. There's another one. I see it. Never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. 
it's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. Just try to focus on the task. They knew what they were doing, teasing us with food and then giving us chores. Uh, having a good meal will be worth it. Oh, for Come sure. on. I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. <laughs> what the? Get to the gate! Get down! You asshole! Jesus! We had an agreement! Now you're fucked! Who the fuck is that? No idea! Fuck! Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out! I can do this all day. I see him. They hide the tractor. I already got one of you and hide forever. Over there. Please, stuck in the dirt. Come on out! You assholes! Can so, you something's still blocking me. We had a deal! What about our arrangement? Come on, if we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. We're gonna have to move it. Goddamn ambush out there! Holy shit, are, are you okay? Bandits here? On our property? Oh my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out. God damn, it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark, oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just... Pull it out. Oh no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. 
Well, you must be the best. What kind warrior. of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. It was a fluke. It was just a fluke thing. We can't stop assuming there aren't bad people out there. What the hell do you mean a fluke? It could have happened anywhere. Could have happened to us in the motor inn. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this Ain't shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope your kids like swings. A swing! I love swings! Just like at my treehouse! Come on, Doc! Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah! Thanks. Anytime. I don't like that. Listen, listen. I don't like that look they gave each other when the Carly said when they said Carly was watching the camp, the motor in. I don't like the look they gave. I don't like that at all. I feel like something's up. For you. Something's weird's happening. I'm oddly suspicious of these characters. But I guess we finna go scope out this bandit area real quick. Fellas. How you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Yeah. Fuck it, I'm in. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about... ...about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Hmm. See anything? Not yet. I know it's around here. It's gotta be close. Hmm. You found it? See anybody?
stay on your guard. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. Uh, it's a walker. Walker's about to pop out on him. I was just trying to predict it, Loki. This camp's too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. I have to use the bathroom soon, I ain't gonna lie. Nothing. Empty. water empty but it looks like someone's been eating out of these recently what's in the boxes they're all from save lots the first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate Anything worth taking? Not unless you need a bunch of empty cans. <laughs> I'll pass. Hmm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. Tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid-sized. Looks like they expected to be here a while. Alright. Nothing but fumes. Shit. Yuck, I don't need that. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. What do you find? Alright, we got the camera, but I'm finna go use the bathroom. Alright, chat, I'm back. It's gonna be last episode Video for camera. tonight. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, right. You did say she was running things for you. Sounds like you picked a good leader. Can we dip now? Like, what's going on? But that was a person right there, bro.
Hmm. It's Clem's hat. The hell? Don't you fucking move. Shit! Put your guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We had a deal. You people broke it first. Why are you alone up here? What happened to you? Well, that's a hell of a question, mister. They told me I'd be safe with them. Mm. Men who lived here. But it weren't safe. Not for me. And not for my girl. They didn't treat her nice. Not at all. They took her away into the woods. Wouldn't tell me where. And I begged them every way I could think. They just laughed. <laughs> so I killed them. And I'm staying here till she comes back to me. One way or another. She'll come back. Now maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice sharp arrow right through your eyeball and into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Put down the crossbow. No, sir, I need it. I need it to kill you fuckers. <laughs> Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind for- oh! God damn it! You straight up murdered that woman! Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. I mean, thanks. It's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting. Thank right you there. for shopping, was the Still, achievement. What a waste. Jesus Christ. So. That's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. Hey, free crossbow. Come on. I don't like where this is headed because I know these motherfuckers are straight up evil. They don't seem right to me. 